This is 7 National News and in our top story, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Deputy Ruler of Dubai, UAE Minister of Finance and Chairman of Dubai Municipality, has approved the awarding of a 1 billion dirhams contract for the construction of the Mohammed bin Rashid Library, the biggest cultural project in the Arab world. Construction work will commence this month and be completed by mid-2018, according to a local daily. The 650,000 square feet property can facilitate 42 million visitors annually and will house more than 4.5 million printed, digital and audio books. The library will include eight specialized libraries, 1.5 million printed books, 2 million digital books and 1 million audio books. Designed in the shape of an open book on a lectern, the seven-story building will host over 100 cultural and cognitive events every year, a permanent art gallery, and a home for specialized institutions that support development of the Arabic language content. The library includes a center for conservation and restoration of books, manuscripts and documents, a special library for a Maktoum collection, and a civilization museum. Additionally, the library has six pillars of wisdom that constitutes its message and distinguishes its mission. The library is encouraging reading, spreading content, supporting authoring and translation, protecting the Arabic language and preserving cultural heritage. Free public parking has been announced for six days starting from Sunday, the 11th of September and new timings were revealed for Dubai Metro, Tram and Marine Transport Services as part of Eid al-Adha celebrations in Dubai. According to the Roads and Transport Authority, all paid parking zones in Dubai during the Eid holiday will be free of charge except for the parking lots of the fish market and the multi-level parking terminal starting from Sunday and the fees will be activated on Saturday the 17th of September. New service hours for Dubai Metro services from Sunday the 11th of September to Tuesday the 13th of September will start at 5.50 a.m. up to 2 a.m. the following day and from Wednesday the 14th of September the service will start at 5.30 a.m. to 1 a.m. the following day. The Dubai tram, on the other hand, will be operational from 6.30 a.m. up to 1 a.m. the following day, from Saturday the 10th of September until Tuesday the 13th of September. Similarly, new service hours of Dubai bus from Saturday the 10th of September to Monday the 12th of September for Gold Souk will start at 5.20 a.m. and end at midnight, while at Al Ubeba services will operate from 5 a.m. to midnight. The metro station's feeder bus service at Al Rashidiya, Mall of the Emirates, Ibn Battuta Mall and other stations will operate from 5.15 a.m. to 2.10 a.m. during the holidays. Services for the water bus at Marina stations from Saturday the 10th of September to the 15th of September will start from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. and on Friday and public holidays from 12 p.m. up to midnight. A typical family residing in the UAE could be spending as much as 1 million dirhams on lifetime education per child, as according to the latest report by Zurich International Middle East. The report shows that the average cost of lifetime education for a child living in the UAE is estimated at 933,945 dirhams. This figure excludes compound interest rates and is based on the total cost of education of two years at preschool, six at primary, six at secondary, and three years at a British university. The report reveals that in the UAE, pre-, primary-, and secondary school costs add up to an average of 528,390 dir dirhams per child which excludes other fees such as the cost of books, trips, and uniforms. Furthermore, these costs could increase by up to 40% if a child seeks admission for top schools in the UAE. While the UAE-based universities cost an average of 76,492 dirhams per year for one student, the UK, in comparison, costs an average of 57,000 dirhams annually. And in addition to the upfront costs of education, the report stated that basic living expenses also raise the costs for families, which includes accommodation, food and utilities. 
The UAE parents spend most of children on children's higher education compared to other parents globally. Experts highlight the need for families to start planning and creating savings plans today to help their children achieve their future dreams in the future. Parents' school contracts in Dubai are now available online through the Knowledge and Human Development Authority KHDA app on any iOS or Android devices and can be read and signed online. KHDA officials were quoted in a newspaper as saying that parents in Dubai are no longer required to wait in long queues to get their children's school contract and it will now just take 20 minutes for contracts to be signed online from the comforts of their homes. Apart from helping parents and schools to have a healthier and happier relationship, these contracts, according to officials, will also save time and energy for parents. All parents in Dubai are now required to download the KHDA app, go to parents' page, sign up using the Emirates ID, and read and sign the contract. The parents' school contracts protects both parents and schools and outlines parent rights and responsibilities with regards to their children's education and also includes clauses on assessment, tuition fees, anti-bullying, and other school policies. Parents unable to access their children's contract through the KHDA app are being urged to contact the school's administration. The deadline to sign the contract is the 30th of September this year. A community welfare group's appeal to residents to take photographs of children seated on a driver's lap or in the front seat has sparked a debate on an individual's right to privacy and a child's right to safety. According to local reports, the Community Development Authority has reiterated that a child's safety is paramount, while also warning that photographs should be taken by passengers and only sent to the police. Others have asked for the law banning children under 10 from being seated in the front of vehicles to be strictly implemented. The opposing view rests on the country's strong privacy that warns against publishing a photograph without a person's permission and can lead to imprisonment and fines. Quoted in the report, the Director General of the CDA, Khaled El Kamda, said that if the child's life is in danger, I think the person himself has given up his right of privacy. But it's very important that these pictures should not be broadcast on social media or distributed to anyone. It should be given to the authorities and the police will take action. According to UAE law, parents can be fined 400 dirhams with four black points on their license if children under 10 are found in the front of the car. The Sharjah based Zulekha Hospital has opened its new 4 million dirhams facility today as part of its expansion of healthcare services in the UAE. The official opening ceremony was followed by a brief tour of the new facility, which according to officials was completed in just three months. The new wing of the hospital is fully equipped with a wide range of services including 31 new inpatient rooms, now totaling 150 beds at the hospital. While talking about reaching a new milestone, officials at the hospital stated that they are delighted to open the doors to the local community and they are very much looking forward to offering multiple services to their patients. As they continue with the massive expansion plans across its facilities in Sharjah and Dubai, hospital authorities highlighted that their strategy is clearly focused on meeting the urgent needs of their patients. While stressing that it is a lot of potential for there is a lot of potential for growth in the, their facilities in the UAE market, officials stated that the expanded wing will only enhance various other facilities already available at the hospital, including infrastructure related to gynecology, obstetrics, surgery, medicine, and pediatrics. Zulekha Hospital spread across 24,000 square feet in the heart of Sharjah first opened its doors in 1992 and later expanded operations in Dubai along with a number of medical centers and pharmacies. In the beginning I started this hospital with 30 beds and then we increased to 50 beds. After that we uh, constructed this new facility which we have about 100 beds but with, this is not enough because we have more patients 
for the for the people who come here we did not envisage that we will be doing uh, we will open we'll be able to open so many facilities so in the end we require more inpatient facilities uh, in the, which we have it in the old building our existing facility which is new hospital this is an extension to that and I, the response was so heartening for our existing facility we thought we'll, we are going to expand our old facility and renovate it and bring it to the same level, same quality. Uh, the type of infrastructure we have come up, you'll see here, uh, is the same as our new building. So it's completely revamped and ready for patients. And finally in the bulletin, a new world record for the longest domino drop shot was set in Dubai at the Huddle Sports Bar and Grill, located at both City Max Albarsha and Bur Dubai. According to the organizers, the event was in celebration of the Huddle's fifth anniversary. The previous record stood at 4,107 shots held by Senor Frog's Bar in the Bahamas, and the huddle's goal was to exceed this amount with a total of 6,148 drop shots. Taking place at the huddle bar and grill bar Dubai, the setup time for the record attempt took over 22 hours with several months of preparations and practice runs with the huddle's team. Making the first push at 11.55 p.m., Ahmed Tahir, the City Max Hotel food and beverage manager, eagerly started the domino drop shot where a total of 6,148 shot glasses perched atop 6,148 highball glasses one by one knocked over in the perfect domino effect. After completion of the domino, uh, domino drop shot and two hours of continuing later, the Guinness World Records representative announced 4,578 correctly fallen shot glasses confirming the huddle's success at achieving the 130th world record win in Dubai. A domino drop shot can be described as a specially made track with thousands of half-full beverage glasses with delicately balanced shot atop, forming an unbroken chain. To start, the first shot is pushed into the first glass, which sets off a chain reaction to cascading glasses and a record number of drop shots. This event mainly is a celebration of uh, Huddle Sports Bar uh, brand uh, anniversary, the 50 year anniversary. So when uh, the idea came uh, about celebration of the anniversary of five years for the brand, we decided to do something really exceptional, or, uh, something big to be a talk of the city and even the world as a, something related to a world record. So with our research and a few practices, we decided to do the longest domino drop shot in the world. We have done our homework and we decided to do it, actually. So it's a world record, Guinness world record, not only Dubai size, it's a worldwide.